everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking Spaghetti Squash 101 about Spaghetti Squash. We're going to cover a little bit of basic information about it, but to see all of my notes on Spaghetti Squash 101, I have a link down below in the description box for you. Spaghetti Squash are cousins with pumpkin, zucchini, and gourds. They are a winter squash. They might also be referred to as vegetable spaghetti, noodle squash, mandarin squash, and vegetable marrow. Personally, I've never heard those terms used, but you may have. It might depend upon where you're from. Historians have found written records to the use of spaghetti squash back in China into the early 1800s. So it doesn't have as long of a written history as some of the other foods that we commonly eat. But nevertheless, it has become popular and now it's grown around the world and used around the world as a low carbohydrate alternative to traditional spaghetti. I do have to say that spaghetti squash tastes like a squash. It does not taste or have the exact texture as a traditional wheat spaghetti. But it can easily be used in recipes where you might be using a pasta, uh, it could be used in casseroles and all sorts of spaghetti type of dishes. So even though it has little different characteristics, it can still replace spaghetti. It is considered to be a nutrient dense food because it's high in nutrients and very low in calories. So eating spaghetti squash can do a lot of good for you nutritionally speaking. It's a good source of fiber, vitamin C, manganese, and B6. One cup of cooked spaghetti squash has only about 42 calories. So it really is a very low calorie food. It also is known to be high in antioxidants, especially beta carotene. And that is something that we know is very important to our health and helps to protect our cells against free radical damage and helps to ward off chronic diseases. So if you haven't tried spaghetti squash, I want to urge you to give it a try. If you have any questions that I haven't addressed on the general information about it, let me know in the comment section below. And if I can address them, I certainly will. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I hope this helps. Bye now.